Right, I think it's time for another example. So instead of having a positive uh, value on the right hand side, uh, let's have a negative value on the right hand side and I'll show you how to use the cast diagrams um, in, in that instance. So in part B, let me show you how to solve tan theta is equal to minus 1. Okay, so tan theta is equal to minus 1, so I hope you can see that. So, in this case, step number 1, so we have tan theta equaling minus 1. So, as you can see on the right, tan is negative. Now, when it comes to um, calculating the first angle, the principal value, ignore that negative sign and work out in this case the inverse tan of 1. Okay, so ignore the negative sign and work out the inverse tan of the positive number when working out the principal value. Okay, so let's solve tan theta ignoring the negative sign equals 1. So theta is the inverse tan of 1. That is the standard result that should give you 45 degrees. So that is your principal value, okay? So now, when it comes to step number two, we need to plot the angle of 45 degrees where tan is negative, okay? So let's draw a, a cast diagram. Let's include quadrants. Let's label the quadrants ASTC. So 45 degrees where tan is negative, tan is negative here and here. So remember, measure your angles from the horizontal. So from the horizontal in quadrant two, 45 degrees, like so. And in this quadrant, in the fourth quadrant, again from the horizontal, 45 degrees, like so. So, bearing in mind we're looking for angles within our range. So, let's go back to the range. So, the range is all of the angles theta between 0 and 360 included. So, this takes us to step number 3. So, therefore, so I hope you can see that. So, therefore, the solutions are so the first solution I'll call that theta 1 and if I take a red pen remember we measure our solutions from this initial line here so we're looking for positive angles so from the initial line in the anti-clockwise direction until we strike this line over here so that would be 180 minus 45 degrees so let's write that down so 180 minus 45 degrees okay so in this case 135 degrees and the next solution theta 2 so again we're measuring positive solutions so from this initial line in the anti-clockwise direction until we hit this line over here so that solution theta 2 will be 360 okay minus the acute angle of 45 degrees okay so that would be 315 degrees okay so uh, one thing to note so whenever you have a negative value on the right hand side okay when calculating the principal value only ignore that negative and work out the inverse of the positive value. We only look at that negative sign when plotting the angles themselves on the cast diagram. Okay, The rest of the steps are exactly the same as what we've seen in the previous example. Okay, So only three steps in total. So that completes this video.